so I'm in Chudwan town I'm just arriving I'll be there in about three two to three minutes to check out this film park if you can look up there it says Shanghai film park so I'm at the right place uh, it's a beautiful nice small town very clean looks very organized just gonna make a left here and it looks like we are at the film village Organized. There aren't that many people here today, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to see a lot more without hindrance. And here is this old style telephone booth. Let's just get in there and see what it is like. So there are two, one on this side and one on the other side. Uh, coin operated telephone. I'm pretty sure this is uh, a real one and not a fake. Remember the days when we used to dial telephones like that and they have these old buildings a mix of European and Eastern style but this one looks more European let's have a closer look a very European style of architecture with this building and in fact this whole street looks very very european it's basically set up like a town for making movies very european looking brick buildings on this side and painted walls on the other side there's another beautiful street it just gives a vibe of old town old city life with all the narrow pavements, narrow roads, and buildings right outside in front of the buildings. That's really cool. The good old post boxes, how letters used to be sent many, many years ago. That's really interesting to see. Very narrow openings. So that that was how see that balcony up there it's interesting that this is in China and it gives a very strong European vibe so this is supposed to be Nanking Road and if you look in there I'm just gonna go forward a little and come back and go through those small alleys and see what it has to offer but just like take a look at this anyone who's ever been to Europe is the same kind of vibe that you get going through those old European towns and that's nice to really really see here so you might watch a movie and you some movies bring you back many many years ago and these are the sort of environments in which those movies are shot just to give you the impression that the movie is actually being shot back in the day but actually it's just uh, being shot at a, a location like this in modern times so we're moving on this old style Chinese street street front stores and on the other side you have kind of a European uh, feel European architecture all over the place interestingly there is a clock up there it doesn't work I don't know if it's even real and ever worked but it's there and on this side you see something that looks like an I don't know an elephant sort of an Eastern uh, architecture on the other side mm -hmm. 
so back in the day as it's purported to to indicate this would have been the downtown area of a city you can see the tram lines crossing each other here and uh, gives a sort of a high street view of what an old city would have been built like and to think that all this is built just for making movies is really really impressive I just discovered that they have a nice play area for for kids it's nice that he thought about it so us parents come and they have fun kids might not be interested in seeing all these things and so they've provided a play area for children and I think that's so so cool because then the kids the parents will have fun and the kids will have fun as well they got go-karting over there they got trampolines and they have merry-go-rounds and uh, many other activities so that's interesting to know I'm enjoying my visit here so far and if any of you have been here leave a comment and tell us how you felt when you came here but so far what I'm seeing looks very very interesting and it's very different from what you see in the city so let's keep going so this is very interesting this looks like a train or tram control center at the intersection so this probably would have been the staircase that a controller or a signaler would have gone up into this box to signal the oncoming traffic manually controlling the traffic light so that's very very interesting so imagine me in the 1940s here waiting for my tram to come to board in a cab <laughs> very very interesting taking myself back into history but if you look around here there are some businesses out here. So it says the Sun Company Limited. And on this side, you have many other companies along the streets as well. We're now entering a vintage car storage, call it a car, vintage car museum. And some of these cars are used for movies, still used for movies. But they come from many, many, many years ago. Wow. It's interesting to be standing close to cars that were owned and used by people that way back in history when cars didn't even have wipers that's really really nice really interesting I don't know if these cars are roadworthy but yeah they have them so we're just gonna go around and take a look at some of the cars on display I'm sure they are really they're still in running condition because they need to run them for uh, the movies but yeah, these are real vintage cars. What is this brand? It's Morris. And some of them are mini coaches <coughs> that were used back in the day. And there's this interesting white convertible here. And it says in 1902, the supreme leader of the Qing dynasty, Qi Xi accepted Yuan Shika's offering of a car made by the German automobile company Doya bought from Hong Kong to visit the Summer Palace this is the first car in our country Wow oh okay so it's an imitation of the car and not the real car so this is what it would have looked like from 1902 so it's not the real original car that was used by the Qing Dynasty Queen cars used to be right hand drive 
So that's a sort of a van, what we can call a van. And this one is a left-hand drive, so it must have come later. And this is what I'm looking at. Looks like an ambulance. I don't know if it's an original ambulance, but it's probably used for movies nowadays. And these are military style Jeeps that would still be used for movies even today. Willys MB American Jeep from the 1940s. And these are all military style that are used. Military style vehicles that are on display here. So some interesting facts here. GMC 353, 1940s, the United States. The six-cylinder gasoline engine has a maximum power of 91 horsepower and a top speed of 71 kilometers per hour. So these are American-designed military vehicles. These things I've seen better days. Probably been through some fights. And more kind of utility pickup style vehicles on the side this section is what i'll call the bourgeoisie section where you have all these limo style cars for uh, the bourgeoisies in society at the time so here we have the goose 1940s former soviet union geese the 110 limousine so these are soviet union style limousines and this one is a gym gym also from the 1950s these would have been cars that were only afforded by the wealthy in society, the rich, the influential, the politicians, business people, things like that. Oh, wow. And for Skoda fans out there, this is Skoda, Skoda 1200, 1950s from Czech Republic. Wow. That's very interesting to see. And that's a Dodge. Skoda from the 1940s. Nice. And Skoda has come a long way. Making really good cars now. Now that we are done with one of the highlights of this whole visit, let's keep going and see what else we can see out there. Let's get into some of these places and see what it is like in there. So this would have been an entrance to a town, kind of like an old medieval town. We've all read storybooks where scenery like this has been described and uh, the doors are kind of closed but yeah obviously it's made for movies so it's not like people live in here these are alleyways where movies would have been made many many times so let's just flip over can go back in there and see Wow, life many years ago would have been really interesting with all these little, little alleys between buildings. Some living downstairs, some living upstairs. I really like the way this place has been constructed. It makes, it gives you a feel of what old life would have been like. 
without all the modernities of today. A very typical street light. Well, yeah, so guys, this gives you a feel of what life would have been like in the 40s and 50s, I guess, and even before that. Uh, let's see what's in here. So this looks like a replica of an office space or some sort of a business that would have existed many years ago with a bookshelf with some books. Uh, an old lantern, teacups, no printed machine. Magnificent church building situated here as well and as you can see there's a couple they're taking wedding photos as it happens in China often so majority of the people are not Christians but they have a sort of alcohol ceremony there are real churches that people attend but there are these ceremonial churches as well really nicely built usually just for show and the people although they are not Christians like to go take their wedding photos at these locations isn't that beautiful guys really beautiful looking church So you're watching a movie, you're really into it, and you see a ship, a ship scene, and you think the ship is actually on the sea, and they're filming the movie on the ship. Well, it's not quite. This is what you're seeing. With effects, they can change and modify it any way they want. It's just stationary. It's not really a ship built like a ship with some lifeboats up there. This is how a rich person would have lived many years ago. I don't know if I'm allowed to take videos here. Yeah, it's all in Chinese. I can't read anything. But it looks like an exhibition hall. We're just gonna walk around, see what we can see. The evolution of traditional Chinese clothes from time immemorial till now. Old lamp.
This room here is decorated like an emperor's chambers. You can see all these. At the entrance, you have these two huge birds. Look like ostriches with the emperor in the middle right there with someone on his side, probably an advisor or something. But this would have looked like, call it like a parliament house of the times. Uh, this is just a replica to show us how things were. So there's a lot of rich history to learn whilst you are in China. And there is this very interesting instrument, kind of like a harp right in the distance there. Wow, this takes you back into time. This old style weaving of garments is how it would have been in those years. We have a, long, a number of things on display here. Uh, models of how life was lived years ago. And this would have been a meal, like grain meal. likely a replica of a throne of an emperor. This area portrays an old style Shanghai shopping street. Uh, so it's a, a long hallway where different traders are showing their wares on the streets with shops on the sides. So we're just going to walk through and see how an old Shanghai shopping street would have looked like. Alright guys, here's me. It looks like I'm almost at the end of this tour. I believe I've seen many places around here and I hope you enjoyed this video. I really did enjoy myself because it gave me the vibe of living in the 1940s and the 1950s and I'm pretty sure you enjoyed the video as well. So if you did, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so we, I can bring you more videos like these touring around China and showing you some of the unique places that you can see if you do visit one day and if you're already living in China or in Shanghai just take note that this is another place that you can come and visit on a weekend or on your holiday it's in Chirduan Chirduan is in the Songjiang district of Shanghai and this is the Shanghai film village it's really really beautiful and I'll entreat anyone who is living in Shanghai to come here and take a look all right guys so from the streets of Shanghai film park here in Songjiang signing out the right place. See you next time. Bye-bye.